as a starting point, we are targeting a decrease in our temporary residence population to 5% over the next three years. Ottawa says it's ready to bring down the number of temporary residents in Canada. The immigration minister says for the first time it'll be setting a target number for temporary residents while also announcing a crackdown on employers abusing the temporary foreign worker program. Hi guys, welcome back ulit sa ating channel. So, mainit-init pa from the news guys ang ating Minister of Immigration na si Mark Miller ay nagbigay ulit ng panibagong announcement about sa immigration cap for temporary foreign workers and permanent resident. So maraming ina-announce ngayon ng IRCC guys about sa immigration. Pagpasok pa lang ng taon, ang unang-una nilang in-announce ay ang paglalagay ng cap for international student application for two years. And tinaasan din nila yung eligibility requirements for international student application. And I've heard from the news as well, yesterday, March 19th, so, yung mga spouses, guys, ng mga international student enrolled sa mga masterals, doctorals, and bachelor's degree ang eligible lamang na mag-apply ng spousal open work permit for their spouses or common law partner. So, hindi na ako magpo-focus dyan, guys, kasi hindi rin ako familiar about sa international student pathway. Hindi yan yung naging pathway ko dito. So, may mga content creators tayo na mga kababayan natin na gumagawa ng mga content about international student pathways so you can watch their vlog para magkaroon kayo ng more information and you can also check IRCC website. So ilalagay natin guys yung uh, parang clip from the news about sa announcement na ibinigay ni Mark Miller yung IRCC uh, minister and yung minister din ng employment para magkaroon kayo ng idea. As a starting point, we are targeting a decrease in our temporary residence population to 5% over the next three years. Ottawa says it's ready to bring down the number of temporary residents in Canada. The immigration minister says for the first time, it'll be setting a target number for temporary residents while also announcing a crackdown on employers abusing the temporary foreign worker program. So let me be clear, the temporary foreign worker program is a last resort. We expect businesses and business owners to exhaust every option and work to prioritize workers here in Canada before applying for temporary foreign workers. As part of the new changes, no more than 20% of a business's employees can be TFWs, which stands at 30% right now, with three fields getting an exemption medical, construction, and agriculture. Employment Minister Randy Boissonneau also spoke extensively on federal efforts to crack down on employers who are taking advantage of the system, either by abusing workers directly, underpaying them, or forging documents. There's a new sheriff in town, and if employers are abusing uh, temporary foreign workers, we're going to find you, we're going to find you, and if you continue to do it, you're going to have your temporary foreign worker permit pulled. What the government is doing is it's responding by making announcements, tweaking in numbers at the edges, right? We're going to reduce these numbers, we're going to reduce those. Syed Hassan believes the federal government is bowing is to xenophobic and racist attitudes towards here. migrants and anxieties about the affordability and housing crises. You know, they're not the ones who are trying to get your one-bedroom apartment. They're not the ones who are trying to buy a house because they simply can't. They're living in employer-controlled warehouses. And he thinks if the employment minister is so concerned about migrants being abused, they should be given the same 
labor law protections as Canadians. Employers are willing to abuse migrants because the federal government has made migrants exploitable. Right. So the federal government makes migrants less exploitable. Employers have less of a chance and less of a desire to do that. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News. So guys, I've been very vocal sa inyo na, na ito yung pathway ko. So I came here in Canada as TFW, as Temporary Foreign Worker. So nai-share ko na rin ata dito sa vlog natin guys na nung nag-apply ako sa papuntang Canada, eh nagkaroon ng hold yung aking application kasi... No, back in 2010-2011, I think, nagaroon ng moratorium for TFW. So, basically, guys, hindi pwedeng makapasok ang TFW noon during 2010-2011. Hindi ko na matandaan, guys, eh. Basta na-hold yung application ko during that time. And, yun nga, hindi makakapasok ang TFW here in Canada kasi ang focus ng government noon Para dun sa mga Canadian employers or business owners ay i-employ nila yung Canadian citizens and permanent residents. And ito nga, dahil nga sa mga recent changes and recent updates na binibigay ngayon ng IRCC, inuna muna nila yung International Student Pathway. And ngayon naman nag-announce sila ng pag-decrease ng eh, parang tatanggapin na temporary foreign workers dito sa Canada. Dahil nga guys, yung population ng Canada, at least 2 million doon ay TFW. So with this recent updates guys, or news from the Minister of Employment and Minister of IRCC na si Mark Miller, parang naalala ko yung nagkaroon din ng moratorium. Buti nga guys, decrease lang ng TFW ang inannounce nila. Hindi talaga totally suspension ng TFW. So base dun sa news guys, talagang ini-encourage ng Minister of Employment na i-employ ang mga Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Kumbaga, ang last resort na nila ay ang mag ng foreign workers. So, another update or news from the Minister of Employment, guys, ay ang pag-decrease ng validity ng LMIA or yung tinatawag nating Labor Market Impact Assessment for, I think, May 1st yung start noon. I-decrease nila yung validity from 12 months to 6 months. So basically guys, yung LMIA, ito yung document ng kailangan ng mga Canadian employers or business owners para makapag-apply sila ng foreign workers. So another announcement guys ay ang pagsiset ng target for temporary resident arrival decreasing it to 5%. So, kabi-kabila guys ang announcement, mapa-federal level man, mapa-provincial level man about sa immigration. So, ito daw ang way ng federal government para ma-address ang lumalalangang housing problems here in Canada. So, ayun nga guys, na uh, i-share ko lang tong news na to sa inyo kasi dito rin ako nagsimula, uh, dito rin yung naging pathway ko. Nung nag-apply ako as TFW, talagang naalala ko yung Yung sakit na naramdaman ko talaga na akala ko hindi na ako makakapag-Canada kasi wala talagang may alam nun guys eh kung kailan malilift yung moratorium. So naalala ko na naman dahil nga sa recent announcement ng IRCC. So ayun guys, I wish you all good luck sa mga kababayan natin na nag apply na. Pa-apply pa lang papuntang Canada, wag mawala ng pag-asa. And Yun nga guys, hanggang dito na lang tong vlog na to. We'll be seeing you sa ating next vlog. Ingat po tayo lahat. Bye!